In this video, we are going to answer the very common question of how do I share my Lambda function? Now we're going to look at three different methods. Method number one will be a quick, no nonsense, easy way of getting a Lambda from one workbook into another. Example two will be ideal to share your Lambda functions with anybody whether they be colleagues, friends, or other workbooks of yours. And finally, we'll look at a method, method number three, which is perfect for you. A place where you can store all your lambdas and easily access them and inject them into future or existing workbooks. So let's go. So this video follows the video on how to create Lambda functions. If you missed that video, check out the description of this one and you'll see a link which takes you through building your first Lambda functions. Now, this is the Lambda that we actually built in that video. It is a function called text between, and it means that we can use this to easily extract text between two given delimiters. And here it is doing its thing. Now, I want this Lambda function that I've built in another workbook. And here is the other workbook. I want to be able to extract the text between these two hyphen delimiters. I've built a formula that does this, but at the moment it's not in this workbook. If I click on equals text, my text between function is not here. Now method number one is simply to copy the cell or sheet that contains those Lambda functions. Now you're encouraged to go for the cell because copying the sheet can bring across some problems and inadvertently copy other names or rules. So I'm gonna go for the cell here and any cell that contains that Lambda function is enough. So I'll just take a copy of B2 here, just a normal copy, jump over to the other workbook, and I'll paste it in the other workbook. Now it really doesn't matter where you paste your Lambda function, you can even delete it after pasting it. It's just the initial copying to move that defined name function into the other workbook. I can now proceed to use the text between function on these values in column A using the new delimiter and I have my lambda in this workbook. So that is a nice, quick, no nonsense, easy way of doing it that anyone can use and you can uh, quickly in a few seconds get your lambda into another file. But we don't really want to be doing that every single time we need to share a lambda and we need something a little bit better really if we're going to share this with our colleagues and co-workers. Now the second method of sharing Lambda functions is to use a gist on GitHub. Now this is a great method if you're planning to share your Lambda functions with just about anybody, whether it be yourself, colleagues, or even the general public. You create a gist on GitHub you can put your Lambda functions in there and then share that URL with anybody. So if somebody has that URL, how do they import it into their Excel workbook? Well, this is done via an Excel add-in named Excel Labs and the advanced formula environment. You can get to this by clicking on Home and then an add-ins button towards the end. And within there, I can see that I have Excel Labs already in my add-ins, but otherwise you can simply search for this add-in or you can use the more add-ins button at the bottom. It's free and once that's installed, if I click on my Excel Labs, now it's taken me straight to the advanced formula environment, but if you're doing this yourself, you may be at the feature gallery where you can also see the labs.generative AI function and also a Python editor. You open the advanced formula environment and you'll be at this point where we can see that we can create and edit and understand 
complex formulas from the grid, in names, or even organized into modules. Now, if I clicked on names, that would show me all of the defined names in this workbook, from functions to formulas and, and even named ranges. But if I click on modules, this is where I can see my workbook module and possibly others, and a button with an arrow on a cloud, which is where I can import names. And that's where we'd put our gist URL. So let's take a quick diversion and see these gists. So if you're new to using GitHub, please do not worry. I'm not a big user myself, but here I am on my computer gaga page at gist.github.com. And you can just tap that into a browser and you'll be at the right place to start creating your own gists. On here at the moment, I can see that I've got two gists that I use in some of my training. They've just got some sample lambdas that I use as a way of demonstrating to others how to import them into their workbooks. Now, if I want to create a new gist for the lambda we're talking about right now, then there's a plus sign in the top right corner. And if I go and click on that plus sign, it will create a new gist in here and we put in our description and file name and simply paste in the lambda or lambdas to be shared. So I'm just back in the workbook that has that lambda function named text between. And if I click on formulas and name manager, I can see the lambda in here and I'll take a copy of it in the refers to box at the bottom there. I'll jump back to my gist and within here I can paste it in. Now we need to give our lambda a name just before the formula here. So I'll name it text between. So that I have text between equals and then the lambda. I'll just pop a brief description above and I'll give it a file name and we've got what we need. So I'm creating a gist here of a single lambda, but you can create them with multiple other lambdas. You can also include comments and stuff in this box, which I actually do have on my other lambdas. For now though, down the bottom, we can create a secret gist or a public gist. So secret gists are hidden from search engines, but can still be accessed by people that have access to your URL. So you can still share it with others. And then we've got public gist, which people can potentially find uh, via a search, which is great if you want to provide these Lambda functions to others. I'm gonna keep this as a secret one and click on create secret gist, and we have it. Now up top, there's a URL. I'll take a copy of that URL, and we'll pop back into Excel and bring it into this workbook. So here I am, and I'm going to put it into this workbook module. So I'll click the button with the cloud and the arrow. I'll paste in the GitHub gist URL and it prompts me, would I like to put them in a new module? Uh, no, I wanna put them inside this workbook module. I'll import and that will bring across all of the lambdas in that gist, which right now is just that single one called text between. This now means that in B2, if I start writing our text between, it is here and I won't complete this again, but the Lambda is shared, and anybody you provide that URL with can use that to import your gists, i.e. your Lambda functions, into any Excel workbook they need. So that is a great global way of sharing your Lambdas with anyone, including yourself. But the third and final method is a great way to share Lambdas if your goal is just to make them available for you. So this final method is to use the monkey tools add-in, which is created by my friend Ken Pauls. And it's a brilliant add-in that does many wonderful things. But if I click on my tab at the top here for monkey tools, what we're interested in to share our lambdas is the Biblio monkey. Now if I click on the Biblio monkey button, this is a library where we can save our DAX measures, our lambdas, our Python, our Office scripts, and then we can simply inject them into other workbooks very easily. 
So this is a great way, even beyond our Lambda functions, of making our different code snippets and our different formulas and scripts available across Excel. Now, you can see in my Lambda, that's what I'm using at the moment. And if I click the plus sign, I've actually got three Lambda functions in here already. So they just are ready to go and I can pop them into an Excel workbook whenever I need to. Now, I've taken a copy of my text between Lambda, which is not here at the moment, and I'm going to add it in. So up the top, if I click on Add New, and this is going to be a Lambda, and let me just fill in the fields. I'll call it text between, but I think you knew that was coming. I won't bother with the description now. I think we've got that sussed, and I'll paste in the Lambda. So it's a nice big box here for the Lambda. So we can actually create Lambdas in here as well, as opposed to using a name manager or Excel Labs or some other approach. Down the bottom, I'll click on Save, and this has been saved into my Biblio Monkey, and you can see it's now joined the other three lambdas. Now you'll see at the bottom there's also a button to delete any lambdas to update them if you change things, and also to inject them into this project. Because indeed, if I exit Biblio Monkey right now and I jump to that other workbook, and if I click on my name manager, there is no lambda, or in fact any names in here at the moment. But if I close that down, and I can either go via the monkey tools tab, or I could simply right mouse click and insert my lambdas via this menu. So I'll pop to lambda, there's all four of them. Let me go for text between. Would I like to inject it? Yes. And now if I go and click on my name manager, I can see my text between lambda is in here. And indeed, I could do that and inject any of the other Lambda functions I need. From this point, it's what we already know. We can go ahead and write our formulas. And text between is here. So there are three different methods of sharing your Lambdas. We can just copy a cell containing the Lambda. That's kind of quick and fast and no nonsense. But if we use monkey tools or if we use GitHub, we can save them there and easily inject or import them into a workbook via the Excel interface, in the case of Monkey Tools, or via a URL, in the case of GitHub. But these are great ways of sharing Lambdas with other workbooks. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to this Computer Gaga channel if you wanna keep up to date with the latest tutorials that are released here. Thanks everybody, see you again soon.